All right, so uh, just wanted to point something out here. Um, I'm not sure if uh, people... I don't even know where I'm going with this. Anyway, um, my friend wrote to me on Twitter, Valentine hits the game winner for Michigan State on Valentine's Day. So rigged. And I'm pretty sure that he's mocking me. Um, I don't know. Maybe he's just actually agreeing with me. I don't know. It's hard to tell with Twitter and you can't hear conversations whatnot. But I know all these people, all my friends and whatnot think I'm crazy. But, so let's check this out here. Valentine hits the game winner for Michigan State on Valentine's Day. So rigged. And he is, of course, talking about this game, Ohio State and Michigan State, um, 56-59 that was played today. So let's scroll down and look at Valentine here. Okay, Valentine, 17 points, whatever. Hold on. Before I even go to that, let's go to the play-by-play. If, to make sure that he did hit, or hit, hit a three to win the game or whatever. So, let's see here. Play by play. I'll scroll down. Now, February 14th was Valentine's Day. It's also the 45th day of the year. And I talked about that in the previous video with NASCAR. And yes, I was wrong on NASCAR. Don't get me wrong, I can. I'll, I might make a video about that as well. I never said I was going to be right uh, because, for one, it was just a uh, like a pre preliminary game any or race anyway. Uh, so, I mean, what would be the point of rigging it, I guess? But, anyway, let's look here. Um, let's see... Okay, Michigan State timeout, or here we go. Denzel Valentine made three-point jumper assisted by blah, blah, blah. So the score was 56 to 56, and then with four seconds left, Denzel Valentine made a three-point jumper to give them 59 points, and then they ended up, or he got a steal even at the end of the game with one second. So they ended up with 59 points, they won by a three-pointer, and then, and Valentine was the one who made the shot on Valentine's Day. So let's check out uh, Denzel Valentine. So like I said, he was 17 points. Let's click on him here. Oh, really? He is number 45. The 45th day of the year. Is Valentine's Day. He's number 45. He hits a three-pointer to win the game on Valentine's Day. He was born on November 16th, which is, there's 45 days left until the end of the year. So, it's the anti-date of Valentine's Day. So, it's Valentine's and anti-Valentine's Day. Also, uh, so, they scored 59 points. And if you go back here to the box score, he won by, he made a three-pointer with four seconds left, and they had, so 59 points, and Denzel Valentine was five of nine on three-pointers, and he won the game on a three-pointer, so 59, and then 59, I and mean, he was born 45 days left until the end of the year. And then his name's Valentine. On Valentine's Day, he makes a three-pointer to win the game. And Valentine's Day is the 45th day of the year. Give me a break. It's not... I'm not crazy. It's stupid. It's rigged. I mean, maybe NASCAR, whatever. But they. I just made a video on all these 45s and whatnot. And it happened in basketball. So, I mean, what are the odds of that? They're ridiculous. The odds of that are ridiculous. There is no way that that would happen without something being done. I mean, it's just not possible. I mean, it could be, but it's very, 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 very rare. And I'm just going to throw this in here, um, a few th other things here. I just got home, and uh, so I made this video the other night about Andrew Wiggins. Or last night, actually, I made this video. And the NBA was the World vs. USA, 
and Andrew Wiggins was the MVP, and he was 8 for 11 shooting, and he's number 22, and he scored 22 points, and he's born on February 23rd, which is 2-2-3. And I just got home, and I was reading these comments here, and this guy says, at first I thought you were going to talk about Ender, Andrew Wiggins, from the book Ender's Game by Orson Scott Card. If not merely the fact that his sister's name was Valentine. Ha. I found this information. Uh, check out his birth and death here. So let's click on this here. Never even heard of this. I mean. So. Come here. Like he said in the, the comments. He hasn't verified it through other sources. But. Uh, I mean even so. This is, I just want to point this out here. So, Andrew is Andrew Wiggins, more commonly known as Ender Wiggin. Uh, Orson Scott Card. Let's scroll down here. Nicknames, blah, 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 blah. His sister is Valentine Wiggins. And look when he was born. 1191, and he died in 2011. 911 2001 Are you kidding me? And Orson Scott Card was born on August 24th, 1951. And if you convert if you put August 24th and you convert it to the Julian calendar, look what you get. August 24th on the Gregorian calendar is August 11th on the Julian calendar, 811. 88. So let's look a little more into Ender's Game here. Ender's Game is from 1985. It's a 1985 novel. And it came out on the 15th day of the year. So, I mean, that's totally back to Feature 2 here. 1985 to 15, 2015, and 1985. The book even originated as a short story, Ender's Game, published in August. 1977. What else can I say? Uh, anyway, when I get more time, I'm actually going to look more into all this. Uh, I, I'm going to post a little bit about why I think that Matt Kenseth won the race today. And uh, not Dale Earnhardt Jr., which I said I didn't think was going to win anyway. But I thought, I mean, the numbers were surrounding him, but I don't know what it means. But anyway, I'm going to show you why I think Matt Kenseth won. Anyway, just look at here. So, his starting position was 16, which is 8 plus 8, 88. Uh, he led 21 laps, and he is car 20, and he got first. So, 21, led 21 laps, and 88. If you add up his name, Matthew Roy Kenseth, it comes to 230. Uh, so it could be either 23 or 230 is 115 and 115, which is 55 and 55. Also, in the last video where I talked about it, uh, the only thing I said was that it was his, it would have been his 545th race. Uh, and it finally shows it up on here. So it would be 54, 45 or 45, 45. And it was the 45th day of the year. So they mirrored the 45. So 45 and 45. Um, it's 32nd win. Oh, and get this. Like I said, I never went through and really read all these in depth. I kind of just looked at a few of their numbers and that was it when I made this prediction yesterday. So I never went fully in depth and read every single person's little deal. Well, check this out here. Matt Kenseth. Kenseth began stock car racing in 1988 at age 16. So 1988, 8 and 8, 16 at Madison International Speedway. This was his first car. <laughs> Look what number it is. Number 8 at the Columbus. He raced at the Columbus 151 Speedway. Uh, the Todd Droff, whatever. So, Columbus 151 Speedway and the number 8, 151. 5, 
five and one, five and one, fifty-five. And look, when Kenseth's Kenseth's first Winston Cup Series race was at Dover in nineteen ninety-eight, when he filled in for Bill Elliott, who was attending his father's funeral on the day of the race, he finished sixth, the third best debut of any driver. So sixth and the third best debut. Six and three, six, six, six. But anyway, the main point I'm trying to get to is that he filled in for Bill Elliott on his first Winston Winston Cup ever, right? Bill Elliott. I talked about him in the last video. He's the in 1988 winner of the Winston Cup, and he is born on eight eight 1955, and he was 59 years old. He is 59 years old. He's won. He raced 828 races. It was 82, 82, 88, 88. Over 37 years. And his last race was in 2012. And he finished 49th. And then I talked about the Super Bowl. Super Bowl 49. 49 is 7-7. Seven, seven, blah, blah, blah. He had 55 poles. And 44 wins. Half of 88. Uh, Satan. 320 top 10s, 32, but you go back here, and he was the 94 car when Kenseth did that, so Kenseth drove the 19, or the 94 car, which is 49 mirror, mirrored, and even the picture they show of it, they show him <laughs> against another guy who is number 28, which is 2 eight, 88. And then later on, his number was switched to 17, which 7 and 1 is 8. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'm not even going to keep reading that much more into it. Um, it's not really that big of a deal to me, I guess. Um, anyway, uh, 545 is what I, I talked about that in the last video. I just didn't think that much of it. But I did talk about... The 45, and then November 16th is the mirror, uh, or the anti-date. So, I guess it does make sense. Um, 45, I said it was 90 days, so 45 days left until the end of the year was the last race of NASCAR last year. And then this race was on the 45th day. So, it's basically the opposite. 45 and 45, the anti-dates, the mirrors, whatever, and then, this was his 545th race, so, and he won it. So, I mean, whatever, it's tough to predict, um, because, I mean, but it's all there, just ex every, the story that I talked about, it literally fits him, so, uh, I don't know, think what you want, I don't care, there's a lot of things that are pretty strange and weird, I don't give a crap if people think I'm crazy anymore, because... It happens too often, and it happens with almost everything in every news article. Um, so, whatever. You know, believe what you want. That's all I got to say. But, uh, anyway, have a great night. Like I said, just, you know, do what you want. But, uh, whatever. That's all I can say. If you don't believe it, don't believe it then, I guess. That's all I got to say.